very quick little DIY tutorial for you guys. I've been wanting to um, get this tutorial to you guys for quite a while now, but there's always been one that I thought was more important. So I'm finally doing this one. I've seen some other people showing how to do it as well, so I really wanted to get this to you guys now. Um, this one is for all of you out there who really love doing your own nails and doing nail art. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys how to do it yourself nail wraps. So I'm really, really excited about this. I hope you guys are too. Let's get going. The first thing you're going to need is a Ziploc bag. You can use any other shiny non-porous item to do this, such as a wax paper or saran wrap. Um, or even something like this loose leaf divider that I have here. This is a little bit more sturdy plastic and it will allow you to more easily pull off your nail wraps when you're finished your design. Since Ziploc bags are more readily available to everybody, that's what we're going to use for this tutorial. Next you're going to need whatever color you want as your base color. I'm using this color here and when you apply it to your Ziploc bag you want to make sure that you keep the application fairly thick. This allows it to be pulled off the bag much easier than if you apply it too thin. If you end up with a coat that you think is too thin, you can later go back and apply a second coat if needed. So just apply it in the general shape of um, a fingernail and then once you've got your base coat down, you're going to need to let this dry for about 20 minutes until it's dry to the touch. Once your base color is dry to the touch, you're ready to start on your design. What you'll need here is some small brushes as well as a dotting tool along with any colors you'd like to use for your design. The design that I'm going to be doing is a polka dot with floral pattern. Obviously you can improvise, get creative and do whatever pattern or design you'd like to do. Once you're finished painting your design, you need to let it dry for an hour to an hour and a half or until it's dry enough to remove it from the plastic without it tearing. Now that your designs are dry, we're ready to get these nail wraps on our nails. As you can see, I've prepared all of my fingernails except for the ones that I am going to be applying my nail wraps to. What you're going to need to remove these from your plastic is a tweezer with a very sharp edge on it. This is really going to help us lift those edges and remove this from the plastic very gently. So you want to just work around the edges first and once you've released those, the rest of the wraps will release from the bag quite easily. To apply your nail wraps, you're going to apply a thin thorough coating of base coat to your nail, making sure you get all edges. Then you can apply your nail wrap and press gently with your finger first, following with a cuticle stick around your cuticle. Make sure you press it in there nice and close. Once you've done that, you can also use the sharp edge of the cuticle stick to perforate the nail wrap around your cuticle. From here you can grab your nail file and file away the excess wrap at the edge of your nail. Then you can use your cuticle stick to release the excess nail wrap all around your fingernail. Now that the wrap is applied to your nail, you're just going to want to finish it up with a very quick top coat. Make sure to quickly apply your top coat and not brush over it more than once as this may start to smear your design. Alternately, if you had any fingernails that you decided you wanted to add design to after you already applied your polish, you can create designs separately, apply them onto your painted fingernails using a top coat, and then make sure to seal them in using one final coat of top coat. And there you have DIY nail wraps. This is going to make your nail art design possibilities endless. So that's it for this tutorial guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's really really fun and makes it so that you can have both hands looking really nice instead of just one hand. I know depending on the design it can be pretty hard to get both hands done and both hands looking nice so this tutorial will really help you guys out. Don't forget that if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to keep up with all the other videos that I'm doing make sure to subscribe to my channel. 
If you want to come and join in the fun with me elsewhere on the internet, I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Pinterest and a bunch of other places. And I'll be leaving all those links and info in the description of this video as I normally do. So make sure that you go and like and follow and subscribe to keep up with all of the fun that's going on um, with me and my blog and um, all of the tutorials and everything that I've got going on. As usual, I hope that you guys have a really super awesome day and I hope you guys have fun doing your own nails. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!